Okay, are you ready to record? Yep, I'm cool. Alright guys, so uh, I am speaking with uh, Sick Nerd, uh, the guy who just, just passed hi. me. Hi. Yeah, hi. The guy just passed me in overall <laughs> XP. Um, yeah, how do you feel? Uh, well, it's really cool to be rank 1. I, I kind of got sick of being asked when I'm going to get it. Yeah. I... It's... Pe oh, people pay me like... To describe it, to be honest. Yeah, whenever I took, like, my private it's zone. It's pretty awesome, honestly, but... Yeah. I don't know. I've been a little bit demotivated lately, as you probably know. So, uh... Yep. It wasn't as special as it should have been, but it's still very awesome. Because, you know... The reason I've been demotivated is because, I don't know, most people probably know it's because of, I don't know, alt skip and stuff like that. I really don't like it. I know you don't either. Mm. So, I guess we share that one in common. Yeah, and pretty much the only like competition you got now is Link's Heart, man. He, he abuses pretty uh, much hey, everything. Hey, Jace, hey, Jace and Vyar. Ah. Probably as well. Those but, uh, guys are fucking nerds, mate. Hey Jess, uh, said he stopped using alts. I think he's gonna stop after 200 more crafting. Yeah. At least that's what he said. But yeah, I, I hope he does, to be honest. Because uh, I'll have someone to compete with who isn't, I don't know, abusing everything he can, sort of thing. Yeah. And by all, I don't know. I don't think he uses alts or anything. Pretty legit now. Yeah. He, uh, he didn't think he was worth losing his rep reputation and stuff. Uh, Good lad. Yeah. Um, so, um, what, what's your future goals after uh, Tuner Milk Cooking? Well, after cooking, I'm probably just going to get all the requirements for the achievement diaries and stuff. And uh, probably Hunter, because it's good money. And I don't really want to runecraft because it's really slow. So I'd, I'll do 200 ball hunter, maybe smithing and slayer. Yeah, I, I'm actually hunting now. I know you're doing hunter well. too. Yeah, um, yeah, I like it because it's uh, pretty fun and um, it's very easy to sell black chains while nature chains are pretty hard to sell and you don't even get a good price on them right now. Yeah, I would have probably done hunter a while ago if I didn't stream because yeah. I can't really stream black chains and just get killed, but. The achievement diaries you unlock a red chin hunter area, which is private and the requirements are really hard to get in, so I doubt I'd get ragged or anything in there. That should be okay. Oh I thought it was only dead chins. Huh? I thought it was only dead chins. It is only red chins, oh. but I'd rather like I'd rather do those than not stream or anything. Yeah. I I I I have streamed the tree taking a little bit uh I think it's very, uh, I think it's very entertaining to do sometimes, but I also find it kind of exhausting, and I I can sometimes get tired of ask asking the same, uh, answering the same questions. Oh yeah, like, if you stream, you have to kind of get used to answering the same question a million times. Yeah. That's sad. I guess it's not too bad, honestly. It's only when it's those annoying questions which you don't really want to answer. Mm. Like I don't really like answering questions about alts and stuff. Personally, but I don't know. The questions I don't like. Every other question's cool. P people have like, you know, every time I put my power on, people are always like, oh, sick nerd is gonna pass you. No, you, you should go hard. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just. Oh, uh, well, you're still rank one on EHP, so yeah. Yeah, but. Uh, I'm still the true rank one. Most people don't know that, so. And you, you'll pass me uh, in a few weeks, anyways. Um, I think a month. Yeah, but it depends how much I play. Like a while. Um, yeah. So, um, how how do you feel about um uh, auto hotkeys now? Uh, I, I know you started using them, but uh, you also say that. Uh, oh, I started using them like four months ago, and I still do. Yeah. Um, I think it's up to the players to honestly draw the line where they are. Like, Mod Weth said they're okay when people decide what is allowed and what isn't. But he didn't say what is allowed and what isn't, so... 
you've just got to kind of use them responsibly. I don't really see a problem with them when they use like mouse keys, but I do still wish all mouse key programs were banned, including regular ones. Just because I did use manual for ages, and I still enjoy that more. It's just I use it because, I don't know, it's a little bit faster and more relaxing, I suppose. I, I just find that a bit like uh, hypocritical to uh, to use something that you don't really think should be allowed. It is, but it's relaxing. And I'm, I'm a, I would honestly stop using them, but I've been using them for a while, and now I'm kind of just stuck into using them, and I'm, it feels like it's just a part of the game now. Like, if I'm not using both hands, I just, I don't know, I do with my other hand, so yeah. Um, I end up fapping all day or something. <laughs> well, that's pretty nice too, though. Eh. Get tired, mate. Go to bed after two hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, I, I remember last time I asked you, you said the Schley was your favorite skill. Uh, Still is. Okay. I just love Slayer, man. It's probably just because there's a lot of variety and you can also yeah. multi-skill while doing like fletching bolts. That's what I really like about it. Yeah, that, that looks pretty fun. 1.5 million broad bolts to do at the moment. <laughs> but nice. to make those, hard to sell. Yeah, that's, that's mainly why I don't use them. It's hard to sell and buy. Uh, I'm going to have actually have a look at broad bolts right now. The last time I looked, they were very easy to sell. Oh. Honestly, I I haven't even done like broads. the requirements for the broads. Because hey, it didn't take long to get them. Yeah. Uh, um. Eh, they don't look too hard to sell. Honestly, I mean they won't be easy to sell, but I guess I would have an advantage there being able to sell them on my stream a bit easier. Hashtag unfair advantage. <laughs> but I don't think that's too big of a deal. At least. At least you don't even use outs for uh, like uh, trading stuff, so there's a lot of people uh, who's doing that right now. It's tempting to use an alt for the trading post because I can't turn my PM on. Yeah. You're probably the same that you can't turn your PM on. No, I actually can't. I'd rather just not use them at all. Yeah, you, if, uh, I, if I, I uh, just if get I don't spammed stream. with when are you streaming and I don't like not replying, I just feel rude, so I just don't do it. But uh, that's only because you're streaming. You would probably get like a small uh, spam in the beginning, and then it would turn uh, turn down a bit. Uh, yeah, normally it's worse for like an hour or something, but still, I don't have to wait an hour of ignoring people to do it. That suck. Yeah, the, the... I feel bad for players like Alkin who try to do it because it'd be a lot worse for him. He's a lot more popular, obviously. Yeah, he's he's more popular than us. Uh... Got hundred K subs, man. <laughs> That's a shitload. Um, I would love a hundred k subs. Hmm. Mind you, I don't really do YouTube. My last video has black bars on it. What the fuck. Okay. Um, Editing, mate. So, uh, how do you like to approach the goal, uh, goals? Uh, I have seen you just uh, train the cooking constantly lately, and usually you say you do a lot of like uh, variety and switch between skills and. That's kind of what I'm doing right now too. Uh, Depends on the skill, honestly. Like skill, like cooking, yeah. you can pretty much do that non-stop because when you need to chill out, you can AFK, and when you want to try hard, you can do that. That's fine. It's like fishing; like you can try really hard if you want to, but you can just chill yeah. out if you need to. But skills like that, I could probably do for a long time. But skills like crafting, I did that in one chunk. It was really AFK, and it was boring as fuck. That's probably what made me use alts for a couple of weeks while I was doing crafting, because there was nothing going on. Hmm. <clears throat> but a skill like Slayer, I want it to last as long as possible. So I'm only going to do like a few mil XP at a time, to be honest. But I just, I don't want to like get it all over and done with and never be able to do Slayer again. Well, it's it's a shit, shitload of hours, so uh, when you're done, you probably don't miss it too much. It'd probably take like close to a year or something, I think. Yeah. Maybe a bit more, actually. I think it would take you more if you switched between skills. If I did it non-stop and um, did it really, like, expensive, I could get it done in a year, but if I did it, like, a noob and did it really cheap, then it'd take a lot longer. Yeah, I, I remember you. <laughs> 
I remember you said you're gonna keep like uh, an entire slave tab for 200 mil. I kept it going for a while. I, I, it was like until 40 mil, and it was pretty huge. Oh. Uh, but it was worth like 200 mil, and I had no money, and it seemed so stupid just to have like a thousand rune chains and stuff. Just eventually sold it. Yeah, it, it would look pretty cool though. <laughs> Um, it would have looked awesome. It would have looked amazing. But yeah, do you have it's like too expensive, man? Yeah, I understand that. Uh, do you have like any like secondary or uh, third, sec second favorite skills or something? Well, Slay is my favorite skill. Yeah. But if it was like going to be a skill skill, that's not combat. It'd probably be fishing or agility, just because they're really relaxing. Also, fishing is pretty much a perfect skill in. How much yeah. effort you put in, you get more XP. Apart from the whole alt thing, but yeah. I think fishing's an almost the, perfect skill. Yeah, there's there's so many ways to train it. Uh, people don't even know. Uh, I, I tried to make a, a, a video about some of the methods, but th there's plenty of other methods you can do. There's like two different... It's three different free-ticking methods and two different four-ticking methods, I think. No, it's more. Awesome. It's more than that. It's like tree and it's box traps and. It's, oh wait, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about box traps. And it's also like in boxes and all the stuff. Yeah, in boxes, yeah. kind of the same thing, really. A fletching and yeah. Yeah, so fletching's the thing I did most of the time. Hmm. By night to nine, though, I didn't even know any of this stuff existed. I was a bit of a noob, so. Yeah, same. I, I was. I was pretty noob. I just fished uh, an Atari. Which was your second night to nine, wasn't it? Yeah, it or was first. Yeah, no, my first was Hunter, and then I did fishing. Yeah, I remember watching your one Bill XP video was pretty cool, man. Yeah, I watched sure. like three times. Not gonna lie. It was only the screenshots. I wish I that... saved screenshots as well. Yeah, it was only oh. the, it was only like the screenshots that wasn't in any of my vids. Yeah, it. I wish I kept a lot of screenshots, but I switched computers and. Like twice, so I couldn't pretty much unless I transferred them all. I know you lost a load of pictures, didn't you? I recovered them. No, I didn't recover any. No, I didn't. Uh, I um, I just found them on the laptop, and then I used a the, uh, Google Docs uh, to transfer. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I yeah, I remember you had trouble with that. Yeah, it took it took a while to uh, because I also had to record the pictures, and I also had to transfer them from my laptop. So it took a few hours. Fair enough. Are you gonna make like uh, a two build with if you if you are the first person to two build XP? Uh I personally don't really like RuneScape parties. I, I normally find them just awkward, just like IRL <laughs> parties to be honest. Because like yeah. okay, you, you, you go to some spot, everyone stands near you, then do something and get the XP, everyone's spamming and it's like, yeah, see you guys and leave. I find them weird. So probably not, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I, I found it pretty epic if uh, if I reach the epic achievement, but if it's just like night and night. Yours nine. was awesome. Yeah, it was... I guess it's because you were first to it. Mm. One bill's a huge milestone. But if, if it was it's one extra number. If, if it would just be like a night and nine herbal party, then it would be pretty lame. I don't really go to 99 parties anymore. No. But we also, I, don't, I don't know. We also sound pretty thought... arrogant, like saying that. Like, oh, 99 is what Oh, yeah. I... I I don't like sounding like an arrogant cunt, but I don't know. I get asked to go to quite a few of them, so I just can't be bothered. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, do you look forward to 200 mil caps? Or max caps, uh, I guess, too. I, sh I could go on a rant about max caps and 200 mil caps, but I am really looking forward to them. But I honestly do not, don't know why they're not in the game already. The reason for them not adding them is because not enough people will get them. But, I don't know, you've got third age weapons in the game. Not, like, nobody has two of them already. Like, no one's got those yet. But people say, oh yeah, but they can go for them. But yeah, people can go for max capes as well. Why does skillers get no love? It's not fair. 
but yeah, I'd really like them to be honest. I've been wearing a cooking cape the last two days. I'm getting bored of wearing the same old capes though. The the only skill we got as a JM on this uh John Tan and he he just he just tries to devalue Hunter and mining it seems because he doesn't like those skills. Yeah. I some J mods obviously got an an agenda, but I think John's done a pretty good job. Most most areas. I just don't like how he's done making mining and hunter a lot easier. Just because he's not got them. But other than that, he's done a good job. I think Hunter is pretty fine. Now, if uh, if they add butterflies, it's not, it's, it's not going to be fast to expedite and back tins. Uh, and it's also not. No idea what butterflies are. I know what they are, but I don't know. Oh, uh, um, the they, method. They used to be like 100k Hunter XP and 20k Agility XP per hour. Uh, uh, that'd be almost efficient. Yeah, but you also won't get that any money. Be efficient, from it. But... I guess, oh, if, yeah, that, I guess if you use alts, nice. it's uh, efficient. Uh. I don't think it'd be efficient. It'd be almost like if you just use an alt, I'd still probably do black chains. Actually, no. I fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> well, chains are a lot, a lot more fun to do. Uh, but the fast. I really enjoy Hunter. Really FK. Yeah. I would honestly do so much hunter if I could. It's really good money as well. I think if I did Tungible Hunter, I could get fire making or smithing, which would be awesome. Smithing probably. I like smithing a lot. Yeah, you, you would make like uh, at least eight of the mill from Tournament Hunter, so you could actually do Tournament Fire Making from that. I could do Tungible Fire Making. I'll have some money for some smithing as well. That'd be cool. Mm. Fire Making was a really fun skill to get Tournament Mill in. Uh, except... The reason I've not done fire making is because of all the fucking talk about updating it. I don't see the point of doing it if they're going to change it. I really hope they don't bring up bonfires though, because yeah. it'll just be like cooking, and cooking's not very fun. Yeah, it's probably just going to be like lame and boring if they have to do it. So it's, uh, I think it's best to just train it now. And it's probably going to be slower XP, uh, anyways. Yeah, but they might not do bonfires and they might make it useful somehow and make it profitable somehow. I don't know. I'd rather just wait, just in case. You know, we stick with our skills. I've got loads left. Yeah. I, I don't really think that way. I'm, I'm just glad uh, I will never get uh, to two mil fire making, even if they make it so it takes like 10 hours to get to the mill. Our record was fucking insane. Yeah. 500 it... hours of fire making. Yeah, it was. On... It was, it was fire making is not easy either. To maintain the XP rate. Oh. It was like 500 hours. I, 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 was, I wasn't that efficient overall. I know. I got a very good day record. Did you get like 420k? Yeah, in, in my day record, I, I got 420k, but uh, I didn't average even that much uh, uh, over the course of the entire day because I was kind of like. You don't want to know how I did fire making, man. I got <clears> 99 fire making edge full. <laughs> wow. Don't ask, man. I suck. <laughs> Back then, I thought that was good. I I used to um, uh, when I was new. I used to farm make at Varok, which I guess a lot of people do, are doing right now because it's more relaxing too. Varok's okay. I might do a lot of fire making there because the rugs don't bank you can't move them anymore. Duck there. You can't. Yeah, it just he's stood in one spot right next to the fire, so you can't like move him. Really. It made cooking a lot easier, but it made fire making well, harder, I guess. You can do it uh, like uh, at Falador Castle, where I did it a little bit. It isn't as good as this place, though. Rug's Den, my bad. Hmm. I'll probably just do Varrock and Rug's Den. Rug's Den was my. Varrock's not. It was my favorite skill to fire make. But, I mean, it was my favorite. I've never place. done it there, to be honest. Because I did it like a noob. Yeah. And I actually, I remember I did, um, I, I could actually fire make from, uh, uh, from like the game stream to Rogue's Den without wasting any ticks. Hey, you nerd. <laughs> I, I did that once just for fun because uh, I had to move like from Faldo to Rogue's Den uh, when I did my day record. And I, I was like so desperate for uh, getting as much XP as possible, so I actually fire make while running. Well, efficient, man. It was because you were getting ragged, wasn't it? 
Yeah, I was. Uh, I got right three times. That's people have far too much spare time on their hands. I mean, from us. Yeah. The rag fucking skillers, man. They used to plant flowers, uh, and sometimes uh, if I was to do then they tried to pick me. So it was not fun time. Nice. Yeah, skills like that, I, I'm kind of worried about. Um, yeah. You have questions, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I don't remember what, what I was going to say now. I'll say things to maybe jog your memory. Hexis, Randy, things. Alts. Alts. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you, I, well, uh, I remember you actually, uh, I don't know if you want this in the video or not, but uh, uh, I can remove it if you want to, but uh, you, you said that uh, you, you might leave Hexis. If, uh, uh, if Randy I does. Was, I was thinking about it. Like, there's been a few moments in the last year where I felt about leaving the clan, but uh I couldn't honestly leave Hexus, to be honest. I've been in it for too long. It's just feel it'd feel weird not to be in the clan. Like I've had a few moments when I've been pissed off and felt like leaving, but it's just like feels like just I don't know. It's like my fucking Runescape family, as gay as that sounds. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of attached. Yeah, that that's fine. I just hope you will co convince them to ban Alts eventually, just like we did, did with Nightmare Zone. Like, uh, you remember Randy was like really against ban banning Nightmare Zone, but we still forced him to, uh, to do so. It, I, I don't know how against it he was. I mean, he didn't want to ban it because uh, it would be hard to enforce, and you know, there was. And he, was, did, I, he didn't and want he, to he was doing it put himself. people in Hexes at disadvantage. Yeah, he did it for a bit, but he stopped now. But he's, he's still left kid for like a couple hours at the time now with uh, Torex and DFS and stuff. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know too much about that, but I prefer it if people didn't do stuff like that. What? But yeah, I've I've never seen anyone do that in the clan personally. But he could. I'm not sure. It's definitely possible. But in my opinion, it's the same thing as Guffins. Yeah, pretty much. But uh... The the only thing like uh, the only thing that's so bad about Nightmare Zone is that it, it's become efficient uh, to train combat there. And oh yeah, I, hate it, that. I, I would. Like, it won't be so uh, bad if it was still inefficient and better to do Slayer, but it's efficient to do like two thousand hours of Guthans or something ridiculous like that. It sucks. Well, they are always updating Slayer, so you never know if it's gonna change or not. Somehow, it'll only get faster, really. Yeah, but they could they could also make like more overpowered uh, melee weapons, so you get more melee XP, maybe. Yeah, they could do that, but um, I think the most overpowered weapon we'll ever end up with. I don't think that we'll get to chaotix, to be honest. I think that's too yeah. much for people to vote on. Uh, vote in. I don't think that'd ever pass. Uh, no, we I might get like super whip, but that's about it. Yeah, and they also want to be original. They, they don't really want to add uh, stuff they added in RuneScape 3. They want to add like new content. Original content. Yeah. yeah. I I would prefer original content as well, as long as it's properly tested and balanced. Unlike and some like, things that And like Nightmare Zone. <laughs> Nightmare Zone costs so many They've admitted problems. that it's unbalanced. I think yeah. Mod Reach even said that that's the one thing you'd want fixing. But they haven't... The the reason is because they bottleneck themselves with a poll, and if they go against it, then the game would be no longer community driven. But I think they need to draw a line between what's I don't know what's sustainable for the game and what the community want. Yeah, what sucks about it is that they first added it without polling it on. And uh, now they had to pull it, and it it has to get seventy five percent in order to 
like actually nerf it and uh, there's a like it was unintentional they didn't really purposely add it no. but and, and now we need 75 percent to remove it so it, yeah it kind, of sense. kind of stupid i think unintentional things that come into the game by accident without being polled should probably just be a 50 50 thing even if it was 50 50 it wouldn't pass i don't think i think 55 percent of people wanted it really? which is ridiculous yeah in the uh survey they did i think 50 to 55 percent of people wanted splashing and guffins to be in the game kind of sad to be honest pretty shit community uh, thing is you can't poll i won't blame on the community because most people when given the option of free xp will just take it you can't really poll you want free xp a lot of people are just like yeah i'll have that can't pull stuff like that. That's the problem with it. I think it's mainly uh, like about the melee XP because uh, uh, it's mostly the the melee uh, the people that train melee that uh, want melee to get. Uh, to get I honestly left. don't really care too much if a casual player does it. Like some guy who just wants to go PKing for fun with his friends. I don't really care. I just don't like it when competitive players do it. To be honest. And that's really lame. A guy who's already all 99 combats will start doing it just for XP. I don't like that at all. Yeah, but they could choose to not do it, but still they... I don't know. I think if there's the entire skilling community would just like not do it, then it would, be, it would be better for everyone. Yeah, I agree. I'm lagging a bit. Rip. Good servers, mate. <laughs> Um, okay. So, uh, h how long are you looking to play uh, RuneScape or Roll? Uh, are you planning to quit? I will honestly just play until I no longer enjoy the game. That's I don't really have any end game goal apart from slowly working on the... But as soon as I stop enjoying the game, I'll probably just quit. There's no point playing a game if you don't enjoy it. But I, I do still enjoy playing Aris a lot. Yeah, me too. But I, I still, f uh, I now don't really like no lifeing anymore. I just like playing moderately and uh, spending more time on like family and school and other other things that are more fun. Life, mate. Yeah. I, I, I'm sad. No, I am sad. I yep, disconnected. I used to be like uh, you for like one and a half years, so. I I I wouldn't say I'm sad because I have a pretty happy life. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, as long as you're happy, and you also make money from out, so it's not like you're leeching off some some money. And also, P. Hmm. Hey, let me log back in. Ah, uh, XP waste. You're gonna lose rank one now. Good fight. Oh man, it sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna pass it. Just about to pass it. Out. Rip. So, let's see how big of a lead you have now. Okay, so you it's five mil or something. Yeah, you, you already got four point seven mil lead now. Ridiculous, man. Two king is off, Howard. Yeah. Um, so, uh, do you think uh, do you think you're gonna do to the really hard blow? I hate hard blow. Dude. The only thing that will make me do herb war is try a G. I don't really want a G, but if it does come out, I'll do herb war. But without that, no, I absolutely hate herb war. It's it's gonna be really expensive though if uh, they add a G. Like all the prices are gonna rise. Yeah, probably. Kind of sucks that, but I would rather pay more than want to kill myself because of trading so many people. Yeah, I I hate herb war too. I just hate trading people. I like just to grind out a skill and not have to worry about trading people. But uh, they actually added some nice mechanics uh, to the herbal skill with uh, stamina pots. You, you can actually two tick stamina pots, so it's very click it. Oh, I do like that, yeah. yeah. It's just getting the supplies I don't like. I don't actually mind training it. Oh. It's just getting the supplies and selling the potions. It took me like three weeks to sell some super defenses, which was awful. Ended up selling them really cheap. Um, 
So uh, I also seen you started. Uh, you, you've been doing farming a lot. You're rank eight now, I think, or seven. Farming? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even do farming a lot. I just do one tree run every day. Oh, so so you don't do herbs? And it slowly goes up. No, uh, because I I should actually do them because I do need money, but it's still more efficient to bring crafts. But I do really like doing herb runs. So I might. Yeah. But that... I don't like stopping whatever I'm doing every eighty minutes to do one. Uh, I, I'm not doing it like that. I'm, I'm just doing it at the same time I'm doing a tree run. Uh, it only takes like a couple of minutes and it's like uh, 1.3 mil per hour or something. Yeah, I might uh, buy some tossel seeds and do that too. I actually got six. I only do one tree run a day. <laughs> I actually got like. I don't do two tree runs. Mm. Uh, I, got, I got six tossel seed in one trade. Oh, how much you pay? Oh, uh, it was a lot. Uh, I, don't, I don't even remember now. I think it was uh, forty-seven thousand per seed. But didn't you buy them off Robbo? I think you did. Remember him telling me that someone bought all his seeds. Oh, I don't. I don't remember. It wasn't Robbo. It was Paul. Maybe I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, forget that. <laughs> yeah, it was so much. Uh... You rambling, mate. Uh -huh. Yeah, they did. Um, yeah, farming is nice. Uh oh. Do you think they're gonna uh, update farming at all? Uh, they have like uh, added a few updates in the achievement diary. I will continue to do tree runs. I don't know about herb runs though. Mm. I might do herb runs. I don't know. Not decided really. Did, didn't think. Uh, aren't they gonna add like a um, teleport where you will uh, teleport directly to the yeah. party? Herb runs are gonna get a lot better. Yeah. You get fifteen percent more herbs at Cafferby. You teleport to Fally. Well, not Fally, like the Draenor one and the Ardy one, so that's a lot faster as well. Hmm. I still have to do the quest for the fourth patch, uh, the fifth patch though. Really? I still haven't done that. The Draenor patch yeah, is really good because it never dies. I should really do that. But it, it's also like a pretty long walk. Or run, I guess. Probably worth it. Yeah, it is worth it. Because it never dies. I've never done that quest. I'll probably do it. After cooking, when I get a quest kit. Are you actually going to do the achievement diaries, or are you leaving them? Oh, I'm going to do them. Uh, I don't think you remember, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to like make a vid where I destroy all the XP lamps from it. Or that, I'd love to see that. Yeah, that's something I want to do. Trying one mil runecrafting XP, man. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> People are going to be mad at me. Bye. I'm going to use them all, because... Look, destroying one mil runecrafting XP. Really? Yeah. That's, that's XP, man. XP. Need those bonus XP lamps. I think it'd just be stupid to destroy them, honestly. Personally. Like, I don't know. I don't see the point. Yeah, that's fine. I, I just um, I just don't think you should uh, get XP from without training a skill. Uh, it's kind of, that's always been Oh, yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. But if they're going to throw XP at me, I'm going to use it, really. But I agree with that. I don't like it. Um, people are going to expect that I'm doing fake records, too. So. so do you also destroy the genie lamps you get from random events? No, I, I spent the most layered XP. Best fall of exposed, man. He uses so, his genie lamps. I got uh, <laughs> uh, 600k <laughs> slay XP from genie lamps. Really? Fucking yeah, hell. and XP books. I use all mine on runecrafting because it's just the slowest skill. Mm. I just use it on the slowest skill at the time because it's not worth it. It's not really efficient to spend it on Slayer, but uh, I don't care what's efficient. Yeah, I know you don't like Slayer. No. I just thought that I could get some free ranks of it, so. Uh. But combat is pretty much dead to me now because of all the updates. Combat ranks are stupid. I've actually got quite high combat ranks because of my Slayer, but I am losing a lot of them just because of how much people are doing Nightmare Zone. It doesn't really bother me though, I don't really care about combat ranks. Yeah, I got uh, like 4,000 in attack and like 5,000 in defense or something. My highest rank skill is woodcutting. I've not touched that thing after I got 99. Oh. I really don't like woodcutting, it's boring. Have you heard about uh, the uh, throwing knife method where you can throw the knife at the snakes 
uh, and three tick, and you can also drop while uh, three ticking. <laughs> uh, I would probably not do that personally. <laughs> I think I'm gonna it's do not it too. because I, I I would be lazy. It's just I I'd hate having to get the fucking snakes and trying not to kill them with bruise and shit. Yeah, you, it probably you... wouldn't be efficient because of how much the bruise cost. Well, I think it's gonna be efficient, uh, but I have to try it myself. It's uh, I guess it'd be only efficient if you use alts, but you know, yeah. No, I think so. It, it can be over one twenty k xp per hour without alts. It, it easily, man. Mm. I would think so anyway. If you want, man, you can use my ult, I'll just stand next to you, and it'll be allowed because you're not using ult, it's my ult. Well, sounds like a good Totally legit, account. right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> you have to pay me 100k an hour to stand there, though. Then I'll be using ults to make money. <laughs> I don't, I don't if you even think that would be efficient, because uh, uh, because you don't even you don't really get that much ex more XP per hour by using an ult that we could think. Uh, it's... Well, you save one tick every log, which is twenty five percent faster. No, no, but I mean, you could... I, I mean, like uh, compared to the snake method. Oh yeah, uh, you still have to brew down so you don't kill the snake though. Yeah. But you'd have to use brews on two accounts. Get other accounts health up if you get hit. I don't know how it works. To be honest, I've never tried it. I, I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna give more uh, calculations. On that. You can. How many brews do you have Do it on a snake. Yeah. I've got 3k brews, you wanna buy some? No, I think I'm gonna just make them uh, from her lower XP. Because I want to get to Damn, man. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, I any potions I'll need, I'll just make them just because I won't have to sell them. Fuck her, blah, man. Oh, I think. Okay. Yeah, I. I, I I'm let turning something on. Hopefully you can't hear it. Be okay. No, I heard it a little bit, but it was alright. Um, yeah, I, I really liked like the uh, uh, do-it-yourself uh, method where you, you make your potions for yourself, uh, which you use by doing other skills without uh, and not having to trade them. I would love to play Iron Man mode. Like, yeah. this is my play style. You probably would as well. Yeah, I think it, I think it would be play. awesome. And if I wasn't, if I didn't have that good uh, skills now, I probably would just move on to Iron Man. Yeah, so I I would honestly just start Iron Man now and stop playing this. It's just yeah, and I you can still cheat on Iron Man. Yeah, there's been a lot of drama I, about Iron Man I, recently. I actually so. got a funny story about that. Uh, I saw uh, Bone so uh, like had a, had a, like one hour stream uh, of it, and in in the back oh, it was funny. Yeah, and in the background. A uh, guy said like, "Oh, Signer should be banned because he made you, uh, you made you, he made you lose uh, your Iron Man rank." I can't believe that. Like, he, him and his friends think yeah. I made them him lose Iron Man because Randy tweeted out something like, "Why is Bone Saw still an Iron Man when he abused shops more than anyone else?" And I said, "Yeah, he did abuse shops." In the reply, I didn't actually tweet out about it, but. You know, I'm not denying it. I I agree with what happened, mm. but still, and it, it, I don't know. He acts like he... it was going to happen regardless of if I tweeted. Like I don't have any fucking power. <laughs> he he also acted like he got banned, but he, he just lost lost his uh, Iron Man rank. He wasn't an Iron Man to uh, begin with. Yeah, I know. like he play interacted. So I don't know why he's feeling so entitled to an Iron Man rank when he's not an Iron Man. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. And I mean, it, it doesn't affect me. Or you, because we're not Iron Man. But if I was an Iron Man competing with him, I'd be pissed off. Same. Um, I I hope Leather becomes rank one overall in Iron Man. I think he yeah, me too. I well, he's a great guy, really efficient as well. And it was also, oh yeah, definitely. He was also a guy called like the Bear Face that also got banned, and he used to be rank one there. I think he didn't even abuse it that much. He only did uh, cheese potatoes. Unlike some other players that did battle staff, runes, cheese potatoes, literally everything. I think he only did food, which isn't as bad. It's still the same thing, but still. Uh, uh, he should he should still lose his rank uh, if he doesn't if he trades uh, off uh, his other account. Yeah, of course. I don't see the point of making an Iron Man to not be an Iron Man. What's the point? Yeah, because they just want to like cheat and act like they have accomplished uh, something they haven't. 
Well, to be honest, if you do it, you've got no respect for the game mode and how it's meant to be played. Yeah. Like, you should just have a normal account. Uh, so how do you, how do you really feel about uh, the total XP competition now that you can get uh, pretty much full build XP from sleeping? Uh, if you add splashing yeah. in there, like it's technically fair because everyone can do it, but ev like everyone's got different levels of what they're willing to do. Like personally, I I don't want to do it because like I'm sure you're the same because you don't do it, but like we play the game for the sense of achievement and reaching our goals eventually, yeah. rather than just getting XP because we can and it's available. Like, I don't, I don't see the difference between doing Nightmare Zone and botting, personally, but a lot of people will disagree with that. But, you know, you get XP for nothing. It's not how this game should be played, really. But yeah, that's what's demotivated me a lot, I guess, mm. to answer your question. Yeah, I, I got that as well, and it's also been, you also made a pretty big deal out of uh, Link's Titan. Or for Spurg. Yeah. You will get rank 1 no matter what anyone does. Just because he plays 18 hours a day, then sleeps 6 hours at Nightmare Zone. So he's literally online all day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, and he also plays two accounts as well. I, I would say one thing though, he's, um, he's a really good player. Even though he... Oh no, he's really, yeah. really dedicated and he's really efficient, but I just don't... like. I would respect him a lot more if he didn't do Nightmares and Guffins, regardless, even if he used alts. Mm. It's just the Guffins that gets me, really. I, I would still uh, disrespect him. Yeah, to a certain degree, but I don't know. I wouldn't compare alts to getting free XP in Nightmares on personally. Because you still have to put effort in for alts, so I can respect that in some way. Well, like I, like I said to some people, AFK in Cook and Remain, and then AFK in Vivens on your alt isn't really... Yeah, that's much really fun. not hard. <laughs> I did it for like a week with crafting, and... It's a joke that something like two ticking cramp ones, which is really hard, is less efficient than AFK in Sharks and playing and killing Wyverns. That is ridiculous. I just remember Jamal's Batman saying that, uh, but really, pretty much any skill you can uh, uh, you can get a lot more XP in if you put a lot of effort into it, and you don't need an alt to put, put a lot of effort into a skill. So I don't really get the argument. Yeah, exactly. Uh, There's only one skill that you could argue which you can't really get more XP without using an alt, which is woodcutting, which you can only really get slightly better using a tinderbox, which is eh, not that much. But every other skill, like... You don't need to use it all to get better XP fishing, you can just do the bro caviar method. Yeah, it's even harder than the alt method, uh, tree ticking. It's a lot harder and it's not even as good XP as well. Yeah, so it's like so much more effort. Uh, I don't know. I think the excuse of using alts makes the game more skillful when it's easier than the other methods is kind of just bullshit to be honest. I uh, think you do you think uh, like the efficient hours uh, uh, rates should be changed because of alts, or do you think they should stay the same? Uh, I wouldn't want them changed to alt rates because I personally don't use them, so it annoy me. But it kind of does feel weird to see people on like two hundred EHP weeks from alts. Hmm. Like yeah, uh, but I think they should stay at you know just the low account rates. In, in my opinion, now alts and stuff like that. Uh, combat should even give uh, efficient hours because uh, people just train it uh, while they're FKing and not doing much. Thing is, it is efficient to do, so it'd be stupid for it not to be that. Is you still it's uh, EHP would be a lie if that was the case because you do have to do Nightmare Zone after Slayer. Yeah, but like Slayer only gets you about 150 mil in each combat. I think you, you don't even have to be at the computer though. So it's not really like you put in hours into it, it's just something that you do while uh, while doing in-life things. Yeah, I agree. 
not disagreeing with you, but it is technically efficient to do. Yeah, I guess. It's just not respectful. So, uh, what do you think about Cap Cap King? He's a pretty unique player. Cap King yeah. is the true rank <laughs> one. What can I say? He is a legend, the one and only. Good shit, good shit. So, if That's all I can say. Uh, for those who don't know about Cap, Cap King, he um, he streams pretty much every day, and he only gets like uh, five Most years. Most dedicated streamer on Twitch. Yeah, and he, he barely gets any viewers, and. Uh, he doesn't use he doesn't even use mouse keys and he uh, he doesn't use alts or like my son or anything. He is he is a true reflection of what a two thousand and seven player was yeah. like in two thousand and seven. He would blend in so well. Captain King is a legend. Mm. I mean he he did stuff like twenty seven mil range killing fire giant. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Like that's a, that's like a thousand hours or something of killing fire giants. Yeah, I yeah, I he's played. I had a different. As I have as well. Yeah, I heard about that. Then uh, I I didn't. Yeah. Before I used to say that he was just a really bad player and he wasn't efficient at all and he was just a, like an AFK noob. But I kind of changed that opinion a little bit. Although when I oh yeah, I respect yeah, him a lot. When I he's asked him now. like uh, why he's doing fleshing, he said it, it was just because it's easy. That that was also kind of lame. What a legend! <laughs> uh, I can't help but love Cap King. Yeah. He's been streaming for two years. Still, still does it. Still does it. Anking it out. He's actually been getting more popular lately. I think he's on like oh. ten to twenty viewers rather than five after two years. So what a lad. I always, I always he's getting there. I always felt that if people just uh, put in the work uh, in the streaming, then they will get a lot of uh, viewers. But uh, I guess there's some exceptions to that. I honestly don't under. He's the most underrated streamer on Twitch by far. Yeah. People normally like go in his chat and laugh. It is he's got a bit of a speech impediment, yeah. so that I guess turns people off. Mm. But that's like, that's kind of why I don't like. His I don't stream. see that that way. Because I don't know why it, it doesn't bother me after a while. Honestly, you just forget that it's there. I guess it's something you have to get. But yeah, used shout to. out to Cap King. Um, so he's, he's such a genuine guy, though. Like you can't not like him. Yeah, I I like him, and I added added him recently and talked to him a bit. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what do you think about the uh, homepage that uh, he pretty much stopped playing? And homepage is a mysterious guy. Yeah. He he was like people think he account shared, people think he didn't I've heard so many rumors about that guy. But I don't know him, so I don't really want to say too much about him. But he puts a lot of time in. If he didn't account share or anything, that's really really cool. That like, he played so much, it's just pretty inefficient. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing if he, you know, enjoys what he's doing. I guess, but he's he's pretty shady though. Yeah, I guess. And uh, I, I, you, you yeah. sort of also stopped uh, playing uh, a few months ago. I'm pretty sad user stopped playing. He was a cool dude. Yeah. But I guess he got bored or something. I, I really loved user because he gave me like uh, so intense competition uh, <laughs> right after I maxed. Because we were both doing kicking. You and him were like yeah. competing for months. It, it was pretty incredible. Kind of, I think. It, it was so intense for me because I had less free time than him, but he also slept more than me. So there's like a pretty intense... Like me. <laughs> ah. Sleep too much, man. I sleep like 8 or 9 hours a day. I don't, I don't, Ridiculous. I stream like 8... Uh, I mean, I... I sleep like 8 hours per day right now on average, I think. So it's still cut a lot. I used to sleep 6-7 hours. I, I feel like shit if I don't... If I sleep less than 7 hours, I just... I don't work. I just don't function mm. as a human. I just die. Die. Yeah. Um. So what other to play is uh, Hey Jace is uh, gonna be third. To oh, hey Jace is a lot, mate. Third total XP soon. Yeah, uh, he's he will. He has like shot shot at rank one, honestly. Get there. He's very. He's got a lot of money, so he could definitely do that. 
Like, depending on if he stops using alts and depending on if he transfers RS3 money, he's got like one bill worth of alts goal on RS3, I think. So we could easily transfer that and get rank two fairly easily, I think. Rank one, even. I'm, I'm still gonna be uh, rank two efficient hours, so I'm, I'm fine with that. You'll be rank two efficient hours for a very long time. <laughs> Uh, pretty much until Link's Titan. Rip Link's Titan. Yeah. Mm. He's just in a league of his own, to be honest. No one can compete with him, really. Um, there's no one with the free time he has, and like I do, but I have too many fucking morals, and I'm too autistic to compete with him. Not willing to change. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the same, pretty much. Uh, yep. So, uh, uh, yeah, the, those are the people that's pretty much competing, uh, and Randy, Randalicious too, I guess. Uh, uh, Randalicious has too much of a life. Yeah, that's true. Uh, like, and he, he only plays like uh, 40 or 50 hours a week. Yeah, it's not a lot. Yeah, it's quite a a bit for someone with as busy a life as he has because he's like he I mean he's always been at college he also works a summer job which he's got so he's also you know he's got a girlfriend and stuff so he's got a lot he's got a pretty but, full life so you know you can't really mm. complain that he's playing 40 hours but uh, the reason he's getting that is uh, that he's FK as well he's doing homework uh. I don't think he's getting EHP anymore for uh. combat he's done too much of it yeah but he also does cooking uh, while uh, homework I don't know how much, like, AFK that he's been doing. I know he free-ticked Sharks on stream. Yeah, on stream. I don't know how much of that he does. Uh, well... Yeah, I'm not going to judge. I did a lot of AFK. I'd probably, like, done 50% AFK, 50% effort. Um, so, is, is there any else uh, that's uh, competing in our XP? I guess uh, Har- I guess if it's only Vio. Yeah, Harmony is going hard. Harmony. Uh-huh. If Harmony never got banned on his main account, for those who don't know, Vio used to be rank one agility like a year ago. He would be ranked two. He never two got banned on that. Uh, I think Ging Bino said it'd be rank three. Yeah. Like it'd, it'd be right up there with me and you. Yep. It'd be right up there. So, but um. Um, he's making a bit of a comeback, I guess. Hmm. Other than like me, you, uh, Aegis, Lynx Titan, and Vio, I don't think there's anyone else who's competing for high rank here. Well, like rank one or two. Yeah, I saw Trans Music, but he, he's doing fishing, not fishing now, so. Hey, Trans could, but I, I, I don't know how much of a life he's got. No, I don't know. Not either. sure. He's been playing a lot recently, though. Maybe he's got like a, a month off or something, I'm not sure, I never really asked him. Oslo is also getting up there, my Norwegian fellow. Uh, is he ranked 2 Norway? Yeah. I man. And then, then there's no 2 FK players. Yeah, Oslo's a cool dude. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Osh- I wish like players, there's a lot of players who got 200 mils and just quit like it's kind of quit his bane after 200 mil farming. Mm. Lelador, no, not Lelador, Rain after 200 mil fishing, Acid after mining. And anyone else? Like, I wish those players kept playing. It would be uh, interesting to see where they are now. Acid Stone is coming I back. Think Acid's coming back yeah. in three days. Yeah, right? he, was, he had to spend a lot of time at military. That's why he can't play. Yeah, but he, I know. He's not burnt out. It'll be good to see him back. Oh, Is-Z no. Fuck, fuck's sake, fuck's sake. Okay. DKFC, mate. Uh, yeah, there was a kid. He recorded he, he, right now as well. Yeah, he, he only teleblocked me. Uh, and then he, then he logged out. <laughs> uh, I'm just... If, some, oh, if someone logs in now, I have to I have to log out immediately. Okay, yeah. Feel free to shoot yourself, I don't mind. I, I got one cage instantly, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna yell. Hey, I'm gonna come PK you, fuck it. Yeah, are you gonna That's efficient. PK me? Make like 1.5. Yeah, I can't be asked hopping to a bot world though. Hey, it's just funny about the bot worlds. We actually have four bot worlds now. Oh, yeah. We've got two PvP worlds where everyone bots splashing. 
You... And then we've got the two bot worlds. <laughs> so solid. Um, that that's also why I'm uh, I'm not doing hunter like in one go because of the DPKers. Uh, they get kind of. It'd be so easy to do hunter with a splasher. Like I have an account that can attack me in the wilderness. Like I could just do hunter at black chins and splash on myself, but screw this. Make it so easy. Mm. I think I lost my chin chin now. Yep. See ya. Ah. The PK distracted me and now I lost track of it. So, mm, let's see if I can find it. It's somewhere around here. I've disconnected again. Fuck. Nice service. Okay, I've, I've found on. it now. He's dead, mate. Mm. Oh, uh, a guy next to me just got PK'd. So, yeah. Uh, what's um, what's positive about the PKs though is that uh, black chins is, will always stay high price and there won't be a, as many bots here. I'm pretty sure I've never seen a black chin bot. Oh, the the PK just said uh, sad to see you lose number one. Oh mate, <laughs> yeah, it is random PK guy. Yeah, shots fired. All right, what have I ever done to that guy? Yeah, I don't know why, but a lot of people dislike you. It's because I am, um, I'm not really afraid to say what I think. Like a lot of people dislike me because I. That, that that's the same reason why people dislike speak out uh, about you know d- nightmares uh, and stuff. Yeah, but th- that's the same reason people dislike Jabrim. I got compared to Jabrim on Reddit the other day. I was like, mate, please. I wouldn't say I'm like Jebrim, to be honest. Yeah, but I'm just saying that's why people dislike him. Yeah. I don't know. If you have an unpopular opinion, people just dislike you. It sucks. The, the tyranny of the majority. I, yeah. uh, I, I always, um, when I go to class and stuff, I al- always assume that... Uh, the majority is wrong when I debate people. So, uh, pretty much every time, uh, like that, most people agree on something. I will always say that I disagree because I believe they are always uh, wrong. Uh, wow, man! <laughs> that's always how I feel, and I, I can al- always argue like pretty inte- intelligent against them too. Uh. Every time I try form an argument, I uh, just stutter and. Turn into a bumbling mess and can't say anything. So that that can happen yeah. to me too, but uh, I have improved a lot because of uh, because of, because of school. Uh, are, are you considering uh, going back to school, by the way, sometime? Ah, uh, probably when I stop being a nerd, but I don't plan to right now. My life's pretty much fine at the moment. Hmm. Thick life. Ah. Uh. I just disconnected a fucking gen. <laughs> Reef prank one. Uh, I'm going to a bot world. No, I'm not. Fuck that. Effort. Do you think you wanna uh, like wrap it up now, or uh, do 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 you think we should talk about some other topics? I personally don't have any topics. I didn't like write any down or anything. So I don't know. I'm just kind of going off what you're saying. Mm. You lead, man. You lead. Um, well, I think we talked most of it. Most of it now. Uh, I I guess uh, some people always uh, also f- uh, say that um, uh, Tinder meals are pointless uh, because you won't progress uh, like your account at all. You will just uh, progress like your extra XP, which doesn't really do anything in game. Uh. I I used to think 200 mils were pointless too. Yeah. Until uh, I became a skiller. Like, most people don't know that I used to just be a PVMer. Mm. But, I don't know, I used to be... A, I used to think everyone who 
played RuneScape all day for XP, was a massive nerd, and you know, yeah. So I've been on that side, and it's honestly just ignorance. Like, I just didn't know enough to know better. So that's what I assume is the same for them. I also used to be like P- I mean, PVM or PK kind of uh, guy, but I, I never really hated on skillers. I used to watch like Stormies and Jibrin Swids, and I got kind of inspired of them, and I started skilling eventually. I guess the person who inspired me to start skilling was Alcan, to be honest. Oh. But yeah, fanboy confirmed. <laughs> yeah. I guess Jebrim as well. He's Jebrim's streams at the start of old school were awesome. Uh, I guess that's also a thing I, I like about Alcan is that he did inspire a lot of people to skill. He did, man. He, he's got a huge viewer base. Mm. I mean, when I started old school... I didn't skill at all, and I saw him doing fucking like astral runes, and I was like, I want to do these too. They look cool, so I did them. Yeah, yeah, pretty much that. Jibrim uh, kind of inspired me to get the uh, night and in old school too, even though I already had it as goal. Uh, it was pretty incredible how fast he got it. Even he could have done it faster. Like yeah. towards the end, he just stopped, sort of stopped trying. That's true. He was playing like. Eight hours a day rather than like sixteen. Oh no, he he, he was playing more than that, but he was just uh, he was pretty bad at mining. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's one thing. Uh, that's uh, about Jebrim. He's kind of slow clicker in a way. Uh. Yeah, I, I know he said that he doesn't like click, click intensive skills. He just likes skills where you actually have yeah. to click. Th- that's be- that that's because he's not skills which uh, are... he's not fast at clicking so. Or am I, to be honest? Like, I've been really struggling to pick and cramp one, but I've been getting better. I did my first full inventory perfectly today. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Maybe I'll be able to do, like, two in a row before I get 200 mil. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what... I have a lot uh, of respect for people who can do that shit all day. Uh, I remember we talked about that. Uh, that's also one thing I don't like about fast skills, is that you won't really get uh, that good at the skill before 200 mil. Uh, like, with uh, skills like fishing and in the crafting and stuff, you'll get really good when you're in the middle. We're almost I'm perfect. looking forward to fishing. I want to try three ticking. But, um, I, I sh- I'll be able to do it eventually, I think. My, uh, my goal in three ticking. I'm able to do it while uh, streaming, but yeah. Um, my goal in three ticking is gonna be like perfecting my consistency on it so I can look no of it really hard and get max SP rates. Which would be really hard. And some 100k an hour, please. <laughs> Three, no, what, three mil fishing day? Yeah, mate, easy. Easy peasy. Except I do that shit all the time, man. Except my hand will get fucked up after that, and I have to go to the doctor. Yeah. So um, After, like, six hours of taking cramp ones, I don't know, my hand was kind of fucked. <laughs> I don't know what free tick fishing's like, but it looks more intense, to be honest. Yeah, it is. And you have to move a lot, though. Your mouse all the time. Yep. Um, I don't really like super click intensive stuff, but uh, I don't mind click intensive skills, just not like crazy stuff like uh, two ticking or something like that. If if you want a bit of balance, you can just uh, uh, you can just do three ticking, and when you uh, when your entire inventory is down and you are fishing, you can just like uh, five ticket instead of four. Yeah, that's ticking. probably what I will do. Yeah, I'm. Probably gonna do what Ben Gamesio does on stream, where he has he just cuts the full inventory and then eats them. Yeah, that's, that that's looks fairly easy. That's also something you can do, but uh, it's not really that hard, so I don't like it. Hey, it's it's ninety k an hour. I'll take that. Yeah, that's that's good too. Uh, Right, so uh, are you wrapping up now? Uh, do do you have any other uh, plays you want to talk about or topics? Or yeah, I was trying to think, but I have nothing to say. <laughs> A lot of people are asking us uh, if we're doing Tuna Milan as well. I guess uh, we could say that. Uh, oh, I'm just uh, kind of playing how you are, like mm-hmm. just playing as if you were going for it. 
but probably won't actually achieve it. Oh wait, no, you're doing you're playing for Tundra Mill all uh, non combat without Slayer, right? Yeah, without Slayer or combat. Yeah. That, yeah, I'm that's the way I'm doing playing. the same as you, but with Slayer. I mean, I'm just going to play with the mindset of getting it, but I probably won't get it. What? It just takes too long. Yeah. I, don't, I can't see myself dedicating the next six years of my life to RuneScape. Same here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, the only person that's uh, too long. that might get to the middle of uh, all is uh, Link's Titan. Well, he, he might not even go for another like five or four years or however long it takes. Yeah, that's true. That's a long time. Yeah, it's, it is. And I mean, uh, people always change, so. Exactly. He could, he could get. His life could change dramatically. I don't know. Whoever he's living with, you know, yeah. stuff could happen with those guys. I don't know. All sorts of stuff can happen. And he, he also told me. can't really. He also told me, like. Uh, play for the next six years. He also told me he got a brain tumor. Uh, I don't. <sighs> He he has. Lo- I show you what it's like to tell people that. <laughs> well, uh, but yeah. he, I don't think like people should be that mad at him that he, uh, in all that so much because uh, I don't really think he's in that good in a, uh, real life situation. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Well, I'm a sick nerd too, man. I'm I'm ill. Like, sucks, dude. But I think that I've got a cold right now. Yeah, I think the difference between you is that uh, you can actually do something after RuneScape. Uh, yeah, that's you have the ca- capability of doing. When I did hear about that, though, I did I did feel pretty bad, but still, I don't know. Well, I I think you sh- I'm salty, so yeah. I think you should be uh, glad that uh, you can actually do a lot of uh, things you want in life. Uh, you aren't that limited. I'm a, I'm as about I'm. Ambitious as a bag of rocks, to be honest, mate. <laughs> I'm sure you will also change in the future, though. Yeah, probably. Once I stop being a nerd. I've been a nerd for 20 years of my life. Though. Well, mm. I think I first played a game when I was like three, and ever since then I've just been a nerd. So, yeah, lovely. Yeah, um, I don't really know anything about like Black Ops or Call of Duty, but uh, I remember you, you said you were like one in that. Oh yeah, it was rank one in uh, Black Ops Two for about four months. And it's very, very, very different than RuneScape. Like RuneScape's definitely a lot more competitive. Like I didn't even try to get it; it just sort of, you know, happened. So it's not really that competitive. I uh, I heard that like a lot of people make money of uh, doing it competitively. Oh. Yeah, but not like I was rank one on like the public high score, which was just like. Just basically a bunch of casual players, the competitive stuff, small like you go to the tournaments IRL yeah. and you know all play like that, but I didn't do anything like that. I don't really bring it up too much, to be honest, just because I don't know. It, I don't think it was that impressive. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still pretty cool though, because you you were a in a game that uh, so many people play, uh, just like this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Even though, like, what Sesame yeah, did, man. Uh, isn't that... I don't think it's like Sesame, because COD's a game that, re- like, renews every year. Oh. Still. It'd be like if RuneScape was, you know, they brought out a new server every year and deleted the old one, and you got rank one in that, it'd be less, so much less impressive. Well, because, like, old school is kind of a new server, though. It's not going to get more and more of a... I mean, it's been out for two years. Yeah. Anyone who can be consistent for that long, you know, I guess they deserve it. And also, the, the first top players weren't that good in uh, old school. Like, the first people that got rank 1 and stuff. I wonder what the high scores would look like if uh, all those people didn't quit, like Herson and those guys. Well, the fact... There were so many people, like, burnt out. Yeah, there is. Like, the entire uh, top page back then, like, pretty much everyone except me, uh, and Jibrim, they were all burnt out and quit. Yeah, I never expected it to get top page. I just kind of got it after I got 99 Slayer. I he also had no intention to get up yeah, there. Also, a strange thing about Hurston is that uh, the last time I talked to him before he quit, he said he, he was going to do like two little TVing and everything after he's maxed, and then he just quit and he didn't 
tell anyone. So. I never spoke to the guy. He was actually... Back when he was playing, um, I I wasn't really a skiller, so yeah. But uh, he was extremely fast at uh, banking while doing the crafting. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, he, he, was, he was like... I still suck at banking. He was like foot, pretty much. So that was pretty hey. impressive. And before AHK abuse confirmed. <laughs> he, he didn't get banned though, he just uh, quit and inactive. Uh, and then there's like Rassay that the uh, real leader was traded uh, on his uh, RuneScape tree account. Hey, um, hey, Do you think he would still play? Both disconnect him again. Wait. Who, Hurson? No, Ras. If he didn't get banned. Oh, um. Maybe you don't know much about him. I have no idea. Yeah. I have no idea. I remember him. He was the first guy to get an Enter and Slayer, I think, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, he probably would have kept playing if he didn't get banned. But he would have been unlegit, so he should have been banned. Well, it, it wasn't related to old school. It was just uh, Rinskip 3 and he, he got it to get, get some real life money. I, I guess. I don't like look at selling GP as bad as buying it, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I guess I can understand why people sell GP, but buying it's just like, what the fuck are you doing with your money? Uh, do, do you know old school RuneScape Sesima? Oh yeah, he's mm. solid. He, he really was traded. The seeming game traded yeah. a bag of salt. He even admitted to me that he really would trade it and then I reported him. Oh yeah, he did real world trade at the start, I think, for selling. He did sell gold at the start. He used to be in hexes for a very long time until he, uh, he asked him to stop doing guffins and he, he refused and just said he'd rather leave. Wow. And now he just like calls his alt stuff like Sicknerd's alt and Randy does Nightmares on and stuff. He's really salty. Shout out. He is he's, he's an asshole. <laughs> I, I talked to him like he's... Uh... He doesn't seem like a nice guy to me. Yeah, he's not. He's not a particularly nice person, from what I understand. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> you, you remember the fights we had with Dreary when he played? Uh, like he know that for like half a year. Yeah, I think Dreary's a pretty nice guy. Like I spoke to him quite a lot on Teamspeak. I just don't like the methods he did, which I still don't, as you know. You know, stuff like alts and you know AHK. He, he was he know, was like crazy about uh, ones and stuff. Yeah, he was crazy about AHK. <laughs> oh, he's pretty good at using AHK. But, uh, I don't know. I I dislike using it in that capacity, to be honest. Game game just becomes uh, but mashing at that point. So. Well, to be honest, with the amount of like. I get called a cheater all the time if you're using AHK like mouse keys. I don't know if people saw like what some people do with it, like one tick crumb ones, they'd, they'd probably get off my back so much. Yeah. Like, I don't know. If, uh, some some people use it a lot. All I can say. Uh, yeah, so we are talked for over one hour now, so. Uh, really? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> So I, th I think that's enough. Uh, it's pretty long vid, so I will probably cut out Fair cut enough. out some parts when I be when I come become retarded and just uh I don't know what to talk about. Uh, you already ended the uh, thing. No, I'm still recording. Okay, thank you for watching the Vestfold podcast. Um, it was fun. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, so I hope uh, someone. Learn something about this, uh, and, uh, and yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I I just I also, I also want to show that I'm not salty about uh, losing rank one. <laughs> like uh, when when you have it for so long, you you haven't lost it yet, man. You're still rank one in HP. <laughs> yeah, but uh, when I lose that too, um, when when you when you have been rank one for like a year, then you pretty much don't care anymore. Yeah, a lot of pe people on my stream assume that I don't like you just because you are higher rank. Yeah. Kind of weird. So um, yeah, we, we like each other and we are good good friends and we talk a lot and stuff. Uh, yeah, man, we eat it. Eat dating.
Yeah. Okay. Um. So. I guess that's the end. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm good. I've recovered most things. Okay. Uh, 